going on youtube welcome back to my channel if you're new please check my previous video subscribe i'll be going over um as you see the title how to build a strong ocs packet for in-service personnel so <clears throat> as you know if you watch my previous videos i am currently in the army i'm a staff sergeant uh currently active duty uh in the army so uh, i just dropped my ocs packet um a couple weeks ago I know it was due for June 21st. Um, in the panel, the board panel is September, last week of September. So I just submitted my stuff. And I was gonna go over, you know, how to build a strong packet uh, for you guys that's, you know, interested in dropping a packet or about to drop a packet. So uh, first, first you wanna make sure that you have, you know, precise communication with your chain of command and like your company period, because uh, dropping an OCS packet, you kind of like rely on a lot of people to like be involved and like push your packet, you know, throughout your chain of command and your unit. So you want to make sure you know like who the POC for S1 in battalion, who the POC for S1 in brigade, who is the POC for your ops personnel, and then like you got to know like you know who to talk to to check the status of your packet because I mean it's your career, you know, you want to stay on top of your stuff, so. Make sure you know first you write down like the POCs for each uh, section that I named, um, so you can know like you know who to talk to just in case like you run into like um, uh, some documents you missing or something you might need from HRC. So uh, make sure you do that first. Next, you want to print off the latest Milper message. So the Milper message come out by HRC. I want to say every before that before the fiscal year starts so like i want to say like september it'll come out so you want to you want to find a milper message that's uh related to your um projected schedule uh board date so like for example i just submitted mine last month so for example for fy fiscal year 21 there were two submission dates so one was like in, I think November, and the other one was June. Or no, one was May, one was June. So this Milford message came out in September, and I, that's why I put it from, I put it from the September Milford message that came out um, for the submission. So now that, you know, um, there's no more submissions for this year, you have to wait till like September of this year for next year's uh, submission date. So just get, get, get the one that's current to your projected date. So like, if you're watching the video now and you're thinking about doing it, I'm pretty sure you're gonna need a Milper message for FY22. So you have to wait to September, but you still can be uh, proactive. That's the big thing when like dropping any kind of packet, where warrant, you know, Ranger, uh, OCS, Special Forces, Civil Affairs, PsyOps, you wanna be proactive for your own packet because nobody cares. I mean, I ain't gonna say nobody cares, but it's your career, so like, they're not gonna be as like stern and like you know proactive as you should be because it's your packet. So, so next you need, so main thing you wanna print off that milk message and read it, read it in and out, like read everything, every line, everything, so you won't be missing nothing. You hit everything on the nail. Honestly, I read that milk message probably like ten times before I submit my packet to make sure I had everything you know good to go. Also, when you drop an OCS packet, you wanna reach out to previous people who drop their OCS packet as well. So I know how like they have, you know, National Guard, Reserves, and people that's like civilians that drop OCS. You wanna talk to people that's related to your scenario. So for me, I'm in service. So I had like, had a dude I work with, I actually had two dudes I work with who dropped their packet. So I got like as much knowledge as I could from them uh, on how to do it, how to, how to do it, and you know, what I need, the timelines I need to hit. So you wanna reach out to somebody to help guide you how to do it because I'm not saying you can't do it yourself, but you know, it'd be better if somebody that actually experienced their stuff and submitted it will be able to um, show you how to actually do it. So reach out, reach out to people that's, that's that done it before. The next main thing I would say is medical. So medical is like the longest hold up. Well, not hold up, but it's like the, it takes the longest to get back. So you would like, as soon as you know you want to drop, drop an OCS packet, go to your local TMC or doctor and tell them like, hey, I'm trying to do my medical, my phase one for my OCS packet. So 
So get that started. You gotta get labs. You gotta get um, your analysis. You gotta get vision tests. You gotta get um, you gotta get a screen to make sure you have no like profiles. I think they check your blood pressure. So you wanna you wanna get all that done like before because it's a lengthy process. So you wanna do that. Um, that's the main thing you want to do. The first thing you want to do is once you get the milk message, and once you read over there, get your medical scheduled, and get that rolling. Because in my scenario, I did my phase. I was practicing myself, but I did my phase one, and then the doc told me like, "Hey, uh, okay, I'm sorry for your paperwork, but then like the I guess the receptionist or the person at the front desk, they was supposed to call me and tell me to come like pick and pack it up or." come do whatever, but they never did. So I went up there being proactive. And I was like, hey, I just submitted my packet, you know, doctor signed off on it, you know, what's the status? And the lady, no, like, no, no shit. The lady came out, was like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta, I gotta give you a copy, whatever, whatever. And she did everything on the spot. And I like she did it and she was there, but like, it's like, yeah, you wouldn't tell me, you know, I was supposed to come get my packet, you know? So she, it's, you just gotta be proactive. Proactive, that's all it is, man, I'm telling you. Um, next, so for your packet, it's not recommended, but um, it does help you build a strong packet, which is like LORs, so letter of recommendations. So letter of recommendations is basically like, you know, people that was like previous supervisors, uh, even your peers, or like previous like chain of command, they uh, like write a letter of recommendation saying like how, you know, you're such a great person and you'll make a good uh, OCS candidate and basically like talk good about you, talk high about you. So I can build a strong packet. Uh, I got my commander, I got my old battalion commander and I got uh, my commander while I was deployed. So uh, they wrote my letter of recommendations, I added to my packet. So you only can do up to four letter of recommendations, but um, at least try to get them, like you know, try to get as many ah, as many as you can, because that builds a strong packet. It shows that you're a good, you know, a good candidate for uh, OCS. So the letter of recommendations is very important. You want to uh, like be proactive, proactive on that as well, um, to get your uh, your stuff knocked out ahead of time and not wait till the last minute. Uh, next, if you're in the military already, like me, like I'm, I'm like some in service. So if you're in the military already. Kind of like self-reflect, self-reflect, like sit there and be like, okay, I want to go OCS, but am I like a good candidate to go OCS? Cause a lot of like people, like they, they, they kind of psych themselves out. Like, okay, I've been like, you know, shit back in my, somebody can say to themselves like, oh, they've been shit back themselves the whole, their whole career. And now you're up and go OCS. But you got to understand like people got to vouch for you. And your records got to show that. So you can't have nothing derogatory in your records at all, nothing. And like you want to have like you know military schools, you know I even got volunteer like you know hours and service medal. Um, you want to have like stuff on your ERB already or like stuff you already did in the military that makes you like stay like okay he's 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 great he's a good soldier you know you know like he he ain't just like sit so I've been to eight years actually come the 15th July 15th so I've been to eight years July 15th so if I had a, if I'm, I'm a staff sergeant and I've been to eight years. If I have an ERB or my history shows that I didn't really do nothing in the army, then why should like someone select me to select, select me to go OCS? That doesn't make sense though. That's why I like, I like okay, I'm good on military schools. I'm good on like, you know, wars, my PT, weapons, all that's good. So yeah, I think I'd be a good, you know, candidate for OCS. Uh, another thing, so being that COVID happened, uh, they said uh, that you don't need an APFT card uh, for your packet, but I submitted mine anyway. I made sure mine was updated and I submitted a new one anyway because you don't want them to say, Yeah, they said they don't need it, but who says you don't need to have it updated or who says you can't like just you know submit it anyway? This shows them, like, Okay, yeah, he's you know, he take initiative, you know, get stuff squared away, and he's you good at PT. So make sure your PT card is updated, make sure your weapons card is updated. Um, I mean, and I know, I know COVID, nothing like really is going on, like, far as like. Uh, qualification so get that get those two things updated right also if you're a staff sergeant or above take a DA photo make sure your DA photo is updated I know like sometimes we can like get mistracted I uh, distracted and not like get our up stuff updated but make sure your DA photo is updated even though they said like they can't look at your DA photo you can't look at your sex and they can't look at your gender 
I still have my DA photo updated, man. I don't want to hit no, no hiccups. I've been proactive. I, I've been proactive about this whole thing. So like, I updated everything. So next, you want to make sure, um, like I said earlier in the video, you have a direct communication. You have a direct communication with your battalion S1 and brigade S1 to make sure you know you're tracking when like the structure interview. So a structure interview is when. I'll speak about it in another video, but a structure interview is when uh, some officers at the brigade level have an interview with you and basically ask you like why you want to be an uh, officer. So make sure you track in that, that interview and this makes sure you just like, you know like, you know like, make sure you meet in like each like, not timeline, but like make sure you like knock stuff down constantly every day. That's like your mission. Like when you submit an OCS packet, that's another thing. When you submit an OCS packet, Make sure your chain of command understanding that you like you like focus on this. So you can't like half ass it. Cause if you half ass it, you're gonna miss something. Like so, say you go into the field, your train, your, uh, your unit got your training on the field, deploying and all of that. Make sure if you go into the field, I mean, make sure if your unit uh, have you gone to the field or something. Make sure they like tracking that you submit an OCS packet because you will get distracted easily. Um, uh, and you'll skip something. So it'd be like a lot of back and forth between you and Brigade and they lose something. So you just wanna get everything at, like get it in, a, in a timely manner. Uh, but lastly, um, is understanding this whole process is very lengthy. So like, like I said, I submitted my packet to my Brigade probably like June 10th. It was due June 21st. Like it was, it had to be submitted to like HRC by June 21st. And then the board isn't until September, the last week of September. So I'm still waiting with that. So the board is the last week of September. And then I think results don't come out until like December. So it's a lengthy process. So it's me prepared to wait. Um, the only downfall is like with this, of course, a new Milper message, we submit an OCS packet. You can't go to like any like, you know, strenuous schools like Pathfinder, Air Assault, you know, Ranger. Airborne, none of that. You know, no schools. Um, you can't deploy. You can't do nothing. You got to sit here. You know, just wait to the time fly by. Um, I wouldn't risk it. I, I try to like. I try to see if I can risk it, but my, my counterparts are like, nah, I don't do it. Just wait. You know, I was trying to deploy and I was trying to go to Pathfinder. So there's no that to be a lift process. Be prepared to wait. Um, and that's so I did. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, comment down below, uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'll be dropping like military content, like stuff I experienced being an active duty service member in the army. Um, and also like shoot when I later on down the line, when I find out about this OCS results and stuff, I upload, update more videos, upload more videos. So just like, like, comment, subscribe, you know, follow me on Instagram, uh, moat underscore the goat. M O L T underscore the goat. So appreciate you watching the video. I'm out. They can't wear my chain no more. We ain't not a thing, can't take no more. But you know you can't, you can wait some more. Yeah, I remember days.